Hey everybody, so uh, this year for my birthday, which is in January, um, my boyfriend got me a subscription to Art Snacks. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of the um, things I got for February. Um, so first of all, this is my sketchbook. Um, maybe you can see I really like drawing rocks. Uh, on the left is... Some rocks I drew with um, my usual like sketchbook favorites, um, which are the light gray mild liner highlighter um, made by Zebra. Um, another Zebra product here is their brush pins. Um, I have a set of three. I think they're like, you know, like fine, medium, and thicker. And then. Um, some pigma microns so that's what i typically kind of draw with and some of the stuff i got in the art snacks box this month i got these uh pigma brush pins um they're called pigma professional brush pins and they also come in like a fine medium and i guess b stands for big big brush um i got some copic chows and pretty pretty familiar with using copics but i figured you know uh chow is not refillable i might just like use these till they go dry and you know just use them for like tones and maybe mess around with them and then uh this was the thing i was most interested in it's the pintel arts hybrid technica um the description claims that it has a really it's very smooth it has a tungsten carbide roller ball tip and it says it ensures a consistent line from the first to last mark um i don't know about that it actually wasn't very smooth and and had kind of like a spotty texture but that that actually made me like it a little more i you know when i'm working with traditional media i i like to have stuff that kind of has a mind of its own and and creates a texture when I'm using it which is really part of why I like the zebra brush pins um the one the one thing I didn't like so much about it and this is just something for me to keep in mind uh this middle drawing is the only one where I went down with the pin first and then went over it with markers. With the other ones, I did the marker first. I kind of drew a sketch in the marker and went over them with pen. This one, I did the opposite. And as you can see, it's not super Copic proof. Copics are alcohol markers, so you can't really use alcohol markers on top of this pen. Um, I I would assume that it's, it's kind of a similar thing with the water-based media that you really can't use them on top of the pen. But when I used the pen on top of the marker, I really liked the way that it came out, especially with this last one. You can kind of see what I mean about the pen not having a super smooth line, but because I was drawing rocks, I thought, you know, that that was something that I, I liked rather than disliked. Um... As for these um, Pigma Professional Brush Pins, uh, I liked that they had kind of a really matte finish. Um, the only thing I didn't like is, despite being brush pins, you can't really taper them to a point very well. Uh, I think I'm, you know, aside from the, the Zebra over here, I'm used to using like a Pintel Pocket Brush where it has like actual bristles and you can kind of taper it and with these it kind of has like a blunt finish to it it doesn't really taper very well but overall i really like them and they got me experimenting and you know drawing with stuff i'm not used to drawing with and i had a good time uh thanks for watching